And there's another thing, too, is that all of us think on some level that we're being really let down by the mainstream. I mean, how many times have you just been infuriated by what you've read or you've seen or you've heard and you just, you know, you're mad at how you don't want to take it anymore? So, um, I just want to share with you some of the knowledge that's going on right now from journalists themselves who are not stupid people and who are beginning to understand some of the limitations of this crap, especially now that there's some back pressure against them. This is a, an incredible organization, journalism.org, which has some of the most prominent journalists in China, and they study how things are going. In 2005, this is data that they published. The number of Americans who thought news organizations were highly professional declined from 72 to 49 percent. The number who thought news organizations were moral fell from 54 to 39 percent. Those who thought news organizations tried to cover up their mistakes rose from 13 to 67 percent. And the number who thought the press thought the fast trade fell from 55 to 35 percent. Yeah. <laughs> Those who thought news organizations were biased politically rose from 49 to 59 percent. Um, now, I'll tell you, these data compared to when good. This actually went from an eight, from a period from 1985 to 2002. So it is a fair span, but, you know, it's a flicker in our civilization. We know there's a crisis. In fact, this data was actually uh, analyzed by Harris and Iraq, one of the largest polling firms in North America, by uh, Principal investigator Robert Weissman, who said, Yes, of course, what this data shows is as a public service, news reporting is being by the American public is moving backwards. It may be necessary for the public's disappointment in the trustworthy news to be expressed in a way that harms media as a business. I mean, this is kind of spectacular. This notion that we can actually punish the media. That's really, really interesting. 